Hello friends. It's another weekend. Time for another adventure. Um, so Angie's not going to be joining us today. Hey you puppies. Dogs. Um, dogs, ducks, geese. They're all interrupting my conversation here. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, 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 quack. It'll be just us, Corey, um, one of Angie's friends, Kat, and two of her friends that I don't know yet. And also we'll have a couple dogs. All right, let me finish packing this car and we'll get on the road. This is David and Angie, and we live in a tiny dry cabin in Alaska. We are the Rutherfords, and these are our roamings. Um, I guess the hiking conditions today, uh, we have not personally seen them. The last report was from a couple weeks ago up in this area. There is lots of fresh snow, lots of deep snow. So we will bring snowshoes. Um, there was even reports of possible avalanche or avalanche danger in the area. So we'll just keep mindful of all that. Um, but the plan is to go up to what's called Crow Pass Hut. Um, it's gonna be fun getting up there. Maybe scary, we'll see. But. We have overcast here. The weather down where we're going says it's overcast. We're about 30, I think low 30s right now, maybe 30 degrees. Um, so, and we should see, um, I don't know, what, we might see as low as mid 20s tonight. I mean, we can even say low 20s. But I think for low to mid 30s probably are going to be our hiking temperature today which isn't too bad it's it's doable everything say maddie Corey Yay. sitting here waiting for me so we're just still waiting on Cad to get here with her friends uh, in the meantime we're I'll probably change into some more winterish gear and uh, get my stuff packed and ready to go yeah, I'm a little bit nervous definitely it's probably the most snow I've hiked in but we'll, well see I'll say nothing yet yeah oh I saw the avalanche scare too it says apparently not to hike after September so yeah <laughs> so Gonna well, be fun. <laughs> like I said earlier, we're gonna judge this as we go. And look, all right, there's Cad and her friends. They just pulled up. So we're gonna judge this as we go. And if it gets to the point where it's too dangerous to press on, then we are going to just turn back and head down. The hike is only three miles. 
and we have all day to get there. Hey, actually it's three and a half. Let's not get to that point five. I saw the trail side, but and I don't know if we're staying on the trail. I don't know. <laughs> well, once the snow hits, there is no trail. Uh-oh. Once we, through the tree lines, there's a trail, but after the tree line, there's no trail. It's just, you got to know where you're going. Route I'm, finding through the snow. I'm putting a lot of faith in you. <laughs> All right, friends, and we're off. Slowly going up the snowy trail. Just left the parking lot. There's Corey. And everybody else is way back there. But it's definitely not like hiking in the summertime, I'll tell you what. Carrying a lot more stuff. But there's these five uh, cross country skiers in front of us that left the parking lot at the same time as we did. So I'm like, oh yeah, let's get them, let them go in front of us. They'll pack the trail down a little bit. It worked well. So they gave us this nice little trail to start off on. And then, of course, Maddie's up hanging with them and not with us, but that's okay. But praise the Lord, look at this glorious day we got. Check it out. Blue skies. So, all right. Thanks for coming along with us on our journey today. We'll keep you updated if we make it, when we make it, when we turn back. And, uh, well, I guess if you never see this video, it means you probably didn't make it. But. We'll be sure we get it out to you. <laughs> all right, we'll see you in a little bit. We love you all. Oh, that's good. I don't even know where it is. no live today so now they can at least track me no you had a good pace oh there it goes somebody left this thing laying around again no fast trail <laughs> we're taking a little break and uh y'all know Corey here we met him last week so he, he spent the whole week slumming around and then uh, met up with us again today yep. so he's enjoying Alaska Living a yeah. bum's life. Alaska people are crazy. The Alaska people just are not right in the head. Nobody goes hiking snow. What are you doing? <laughs> well, we don't have shorts on today, so that's oh, good. True. <laughs> so, and here we have a. Uh, the reason we're even on this trail today is because Cat here is one of Angie's friends, and because like a year ago you rented this this hut up here. Uh huh. Because these things are really hard to get. You got to rent them way in advance, and we didn't know it was going to be snowing. Usually it's not this much snow by this time of year, but so it's all Cad's fault all we're my here. Fault. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh Cad brought some friends along. Hi. Hi. Who are you? My name's Deanne. And um yeah, this is my first time. It this is a challenge. Good lord. Yeah. Beautiful though. Did Very you, thankful to be here. Yeah. Did you run over here? Who's this guy? Uh my name's Ethan. I'm her son. Yeah. <laughs> First time backpacking too. So yeah. All learning curve. Cool. But what uh, do you think of it so far? Oh, it's, uh, it's a little challenging. Basically just because of walking in the snow, I guess. But it's fun. It's a beautiful hike. All right. We're going to get back to the trail. Oh, wait. We have one more guest with us. Well, we have Maddie. You all know Maddie. She's the oh. beaver. And who is this guy? He's Grizzly. Grizzly. Yep. Yes. We just call him Grizz. Oh, he looks like a grizzly. Yep. <laughs> 
All right, so, all right, friends, we're gonna get back on the trail again. We don't want to cool off too much. And, and we got about two and a half more miles to go. <laughs> all right, we'll take you with us up the trail. Yeah, we got a nice cloud rolling in behind us. This is where we're going. We're about a mile in right now. It's about two, two, uh, two point something miles up that way. All right, the skiers took a different direction. So we're on our own now. We're just trudging to and it's probably about a foot and a half deep snow right now. And uh, it's not too bad, going along good. The fog is pretty much overtaking us. You can see You're very quiet behind me. the valley. I didn't even know you were We're going up me. that way. <laughs> Visibility is getting down there. We still see in front of us pretty good. But we'll just keep safe, take our time, and uh, Keep, keep a lookout on conditions, see how it's gonna look here ahead of us. But so far, we're, just, we're having a blast. We got, still got everybody back there. Everybody's hanging in there. Now we're on our own. We got a couple hundred yards into it and we're like, yep, it's time for snowshoes. So we have donned our snowshoes. We now have, there's some, there's some, so. So now we're all shoot up and and we're getting ready to head out. We're heading that way up into the cloud that overtook us. You can't you can't even see where we're going now. That's kind of cool. So, but we'll we'll keep it safe. All right. Talk to you later on the trip. Your pink sweater looks really cute. Bye. <laughs> all right so we lost two hikers they uh they made the mutual decision that they're not going to be able to make it all the way up here heck we don't even know if we're going to make it up here but um they decided to go back um they won't get lost there's only one trail so they'll make it back and we'll see them tomorrow but uh yeah well, well just in case we do get lost up there going up there you have permission to eat me no, that's what Maddie's for. I've been fattening her up for that. <laughs> See, I've, I've been claiming one of them rear hiding quarters for a long time. So, so, we'll keep pressing on. We'll probably take us another hour or two just to make this mile, but we'll do it. Ooh. Is it really just one mile left? Mm, a little more? About a mile. We'll say a mile and a half. Yeah. We're okay. halfway there. I like it. So, yeah. all right. Off we go again. Now down to three peoples and one dogs. Man, he's laying on the rock. You can tire girl. Look at that. Are you a soggy dog? Oh, soggy wet. Are we tired yet? Yeah, getting there. Just getting warmed up, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just getting warmed up. Oh. Corey, what are you doing? I wanted to build a snowman. Oh. Snowman break. <laughs> uh. say, what are you doing playing in the snow? <laughs> Not very professional. <laughs> uh. That's where we came from. Down that valley, so we're attempting to go up that valley. All right, friends. Well, the sun decided to come back out and join us yet again. The the uh, weather here changes rapidly all the time. Yeah, this uh, we're standing on about three feet of snow right now. We're testing it with our poles, and there's two definite ice layers underneath us 
and we're on really a pretty pretty hefty slope here we're supposed to be up there but if you look down here beautiful waterfall there the canyon this big giant gully so if we were to if we were to break off and make an avalanche there's there's no chance because you end up in that gully and looking from what i'm seeing avalanche dangers are extremely high right now so i think we're just going to call this one and not make it there but you know what regardless if we make it or not we're out in god's country we're enjoying the day it's a beautiful day praise the lord and i'd rather be i'd rather turn back now and be safe than chance pressing on and wouldn't know when i know there's a huge danger right there you know And not only putting my life at risk, I got two others with me. I don't want to put their lives at risk either. But just, just gorgeous. I think what we're going to do is just kind of camp out here for a few minutes. Maybe have a snack, watch the waterfall, look at the views, and just, just kind of soak it all in. Praise the Lord. Love you, Angie. Mm. That's gorgeous right there. All right, we took a quick break. We pulled our snowshoes off. We're getting down the trail where we can actually walk again. And I don't know if you can see around me, it's, it's snowing. It's coming down like crazy right now. So it's probably a good thing we turned back in more ways than one. Because it is snowing like crazy. And it's, I love it. It's beautiful. But we're all, we're all out of our snowshoes now. We're off to find the bottom of the mountain. Or maybe just our car. Made it back to the truck alive. I got cat driving with me now because the two earlier left early, they took her car home. So that means now she doesn't have to drive. I'm so happy. I don't have to drive. <laughs> <laughs> but uh but we still have Corey over here. We did it. <laughs> We're gonna probably go out and grab a burger or a bite to eat or something before we part ways. All right, friends, here we are at chair five in Girdwood. We're gonna stop and have a bite to eat before we go home. Um, we're celebrating what's, what we would call a successful failure. We failed to reach our goal, but 
nobody we, nobody died or got hurt so that we, was a success yeah we survived and did more miles than we were supposed to today too right so then yeah. we did probably like yeah four miles maybe <laughs> that was good <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.